Division. Division is separating a group of objects into a certain number of equal groups. 12 divided by 4 equals 3. Now you say 12 divided by 4 is 3. The first number in a division problem is called the dividend. The dividend is the total number of objects in the division problem. The second number is called the divisor. The divisor is the number of equal groups we need to divide the dividend into. The answer in a division problem is called the quotient. The quotient is how many objects there are in each of the groups. In this problem, the 12 is the dividend, the 4 is the divisor, and the 3 is the quotient. Keywords to look for are divide, divide by, and division sentence or equation. When we divide any number by 0, the answer is always 0. 0 divided by 9 equals 0. There are 0 total objects to divide equally between 9 groups. Since there are 0 objects, the quotient must be 0. When the divisor is 1, the answer is always the same as the dividend. 7 divided by 1 is 7. There are 7 objects to divide equally between one group. That group gets all 7 objects, so the quotient would be 7. In order to divide, we need to make equal groups. We call this equal sharing. We can demonstrate equal sharing by separating one object at a time into each group. 12 divided by 4. We start with 12 pennies and 4 plates. We put one penny onto each plate. Continue putting one penny in each group until all pennies are used up. Now there are three pennies on each plate, so 12 divided by 4 equals 3. Word problems. We can solve word problems by using division. We can use the same three steps that we used for addition, subtraction, and multiplication word problems. Step 1. Read and understand the problem. There are 16 balloons, and four children want to share them. How many balloons will each child get? Step 2. Plan and solve the problem. First, draw four children with one balloon each. Keep adding one balloon to a child until you draw 16 balloons. How many balloons does each child have? Write the division sentence or equation. 16 divided by 4 equals 4. Step 3. Look back and check your answer. Did you use the correct number of children? Did you use the correct number of balloons? Does each child have an equal amount of balloons? Does the quotient you got make sense? Let's try another problem. Step 1. Read and understand the problem. Sue has 15 marbles and 3 buckets. If she divides the marbles equally, how many will be in each bucket? Step 2. Plan and solve the problem. I drew three buckets and placed one marble at a time into each bucket until I got 15. I wrote the equation 15 divided by 3 equals 5 because there were five marbles in each of the three buckets at the end. Step 3. Look back and check your answer. Did you use the correct number of buckets? Yes. Did you use the correct number of marbles? Yes. Did you make equal groups in all of the buckets? Yes. And does the quotient you got make sense? Yes.